Oh, yay, we're live. Oh, hang on. It's okay. It's just telling me now that we're live, so. There's seven people watching. Hey everyone, we're just getting set up here. So I uh, just give us a minute to get going. Perfect, now I have you back. <laughs> oh, I can't see you now. Where did you go? Launching, click open. There. Okay. That works. Are we both there? <laughs> We are both there this time. <laughs> All right, it looks like we've got a few people watching here too. So we are definitely live. I apologize everyone, I'm still working on my, my Zoom knowledge, so. All right, and uh, if you guys have any questions uh, for Marnie um, or myself, just feel uh, free to type them into the comments here and I'll try to uh, pay attention to that every once in a while. Um, but we are back again with another Cochrane Coffee Chat for Thursday, April 16th. And Marnie has um, fit us into her day again. I know you've been quite busy today. So thank you for popping in and chatting with Cochrane. Yeah, it's been a great day. It's uh, I've been capturing lots of stories on the spreading the community positivity and I have a funny story to tell you. Um, but I will wait on that until I kind of get to the full update of what I've been kind of up to. But it's been great. You know what? It's uh, There's lots of good stuff going on in Cochrane. So don't feel that it's all doom and gloom out there, everybody. It's There's lots of good things happening. So um, I'll let Sam kind of talk about what's coming up and then I'll uh, tell you a little bit about what I've been up to. Well, uh, this week has been a little bit of, I, everybody lives in Cochrane, so obviously it's been dumping on snow and then it's been sunshine. So today is a great day outside. If you haven't been out for a walk, it's definitely a day to uh, get outside and do that. Uh, last weekend we had Easter and um, it seems like everybody in town did well with that. I didn't hear of any um, major group gatherings or anything like that. So congratulations, Cochrane, on uh, staying home and um, just chilling out with your own family. That's great to hear. Um, but there is some more solidarity uh, EMS parades coming up this weekend. It's actually quite a full weekend with that. So tonight we kick off in uh, West Valley for first night of two, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's right. It? The um, fire services decided that the area was it was just a little bit too big initially. So they were going to do it all in one evening, which was going to be tonight. Um, but after talking to Inspector Jeff Avery, he decided to move it to two nights. So tonight is going to be east of Midford School. So all those residences east of Midford, tonight is your night to be out there banging pots. Tomorrow it is west of Midford School. So all the way into West Point in that area. So um, I, I have to give kudos to uh, to residents last week. I got some great messages, some very positive messages about how much uh, the RCMP have collected for the food bank. Uh, an overwhelming amount I hear, like taking over offices. Now, if you've ever been into the back end of the RCMP, you will understand that they don't have a whole lot of space back there. Uh, so they, uh, they already did, uh, they already did drop off and do some donations, but it has been incredible and they are incredibly grateful from, you know, to everybody in the community who has helped donate and helped to fill the shelves of the food bank. That's awesome. That's awesome to hear. Great work, Cochrane. It doesn't look like we needed that big helping hands one at the end of the month because everybody's kind of uh, rising to the occasion here and getting it done anyway. So that's very good to hear. And I know that the closed line has been also open for some extended hours this week, taking food donations as well. So good job with that. Um, so yeah, you said West Valley tonight and tomorrow night, East and West, and then Friday, or sorry, I'm mixing up on my days here. Today's Thursday. Um, but Saturday, they're off into Glenbow, I believe. That's right. That's right. Right. And that one was kind of moved from, from the original date, but yeah, they'll be up there Saturday. And then Sunday, they're in Fireside. 
And then again on, um, I think Tuesday is kind of where East End and heads on into the last weekend of events. Um, but definitely a great weekend um, for everybody to get out and cheer on Cochrane's EMS. Now, along with that, um, the, the bottle drive that was going on last week over at the corner and Half Hitch, uh, they will be out again Saturday um, collecting bottles uh, and recyclables. Um, but they have also kind of upped the ante a little bit and the trailers are actually on site now all day. So if you um, are out tomorrow with your bottles and you wanna drop into the corner or Half Hitch, you can drop the bottles off into one of those trailers for Cochrane Charities and they will see to it. I know that they, um, gave out the first set of donations just this week to I believe 10 organizations or something like that um, and they you guys did well for Cochrane so all the charities got a little bit of an extra boost um, from your generosity and uh, they, they've got one more pickup so I think the last pickup comes they said on April 20th and they're aiming to fill that 40 by nine foot trailer so last weekend to get those bottles in for Cochrane Charities. Now with that, you can also pick up a Cochrane Strong sticker uh, for $6 um, and $2 from every one of those sticker purchases goes to our food bank as well. So lots of charitable things going on. Those are mostly the events that are happening on town right now, kind of just people organizing um, some things to keep the world going around. Um, but I know that you were busy this week with some birthdays, uh, some coffee and food deliveries. Um, so maybe you can uh, let us know a little bit about what you experienced this week on the streets. Yeah, it's been good. You know, I've, I've had the opportunity. A lot of it has been some business related stuff. So I got to talk to Selma from Stellar, who is the owner of Stellar, of course, and she did the whole, uh, you know, video of, of how to cut your hubby's hair. And I believe then it's how to how to color your wife's hair perhaps. So I, uh, I do find it funny because I, I did ask her, I'm like, maybe, maybe you guys will all be replaced. People just start cutting their hair and coloring it at home after this. Um, she had a good giggle, but she said that she's had quite a few people send in before and afters and they've done an amazing job. I mean, kudos to that team for going out there and, and being able to kind of do videos and, and you're not necessarily worried about people competing against you or anything you're just trying to provide some basic education so hopefully uh you know what if they're going to tackle it themselves or tackling it in the right way so i give them credit i got to i got to hang out in global pet foods cochran for a little bit on monday morning uh with fiona and christine the owners of that and you know, they did something pretty cool. You know, they, they realized that the market is hard for a lot of our local businesses. And so they actually purchased almost close to $1,000 worth of gift certificates or items from local businesses. So they weren't donated. They were actually purchased by them. Um, and then they actually did a draw and gave them back out to the community. Um, so kudos to that team. They, they realized that this is a really, really hard time for a small business community. And uh, of course, that message carries on. Uh, support local, stay local. Uh, and, and like I said, when I got to talk to Fiona, that this is so much more than just, um, you know, staying local and shopping local, because these, these small businesses are the ones that support our local events. They support our fundraisers for people in need. They support our sporting teams, you know, from hockey to baseball, to dance, to you name it. So, I mean, let's, let's uh, make sure that we are spending our money here in Cochrane if we can. Um, and yeah, and then I, I did, I was telling Sam an earlier funny story. So I've been trying to chase down the RCMP as they go to birthday parties. And sometimes it's a hit or miss, right? Depending on date and time and making sure everybody's okay. But today I, I was alerted to go into sunset because there was a little guy, his name is Joa, and it was his birthday today. And so as, as I pull in, I see the RCMP convoy of five cars. It was amazing. I, I mean, I'm sure everybody started to wonder what was going on, but there were five cars and I was the last one, of course, but they drove by waving and then they kind of exited out. So I did get a, I did get sent a video, but I wasn't necessarily on the street to catch them, but uh, so be it. Sometimes that is my luck. But, uh, and the other thing I got to see today was ranch view teachers in grade five and six missing their students. And I know Sam, I think you got some video footage as they came around. So uh, yeah, they, yeah. I, I think they just swooped around on their way back to the school. I'm not sure that they were visiting us, but um, we got to wave to them anyways. So that was good to see. It was Mr. Belzy and a few others. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I think they said in total, they have a hundred and close to 106 students between all of them and uh, they're missing their little faces. And so they wanted to bring them some smiles and some joy. And so uh, they had their cars decorated with balloons and signs <laughs> and, uh, and in actually the window, if you go up to Ranch View School, not that I'm encouraging anybody to go up there, um, but it does say we miss you Wranglers uh, written in their window. So it's, it's nice to see, you know, the positivity continues and I have to say good on you Cochran, you did a good job this weekend. Uh, not so many complaints, uh, you know, and I know it's going to be tough as the weather gets warmer, it's going to be hard out there. For sure. For sure. Now, um, a couple other things that I do want to bring up uh, for positivity. Now, these are coming from some businesses in town. Uh, Mr. Mike's, I noticed that they have a contest for a $100 gift certificate. Um, you can go uh, to their Facebook page and you can nominate an essential worker. Um, I believe you need to provide a reason and stuff, but you can do that on their Facebook page. As well, um, Julia over at Avexia Travel, uh, her and her travel agents, they have some, they have a self-isolation game on the go on Facebook right now. Um, they've done two weekly challenges kind of. Um, now they are time challenges, so you'll have to go to her page and follow along for that. Um, but they did one this week that was recreate like a travel photo from the past using items at home. Um, so those were quite comical. Uh, Julia herself, she did one from, I, I think they were in Jamaica and they were sitting under a waterfall. And uh, so the, to recreate that photo, they, they dumped snow on themselves. Um, so that was a pretty good hoot. Um, but they had one yesterday as well. And it was like decorate for a big birthday bash at your house using only the items you have in your house. So if you're kind of looking to break up the day a little bit and do something fun, um, she's got some fun isolation stuff on the go, but you do have to follow that. Uh, just so you, you don't miss it the day that they put it out. Also, um, nationally across Canada, uh, Wednesdays, I guess. So yesterday was the first one, and I think um, quite a few restaurants in town got hit a little bit hard. But uh, I just wanted everybody to know moving forward that that is going to be a Wednesday thing in general. So um, if you want to support them on Wednesdays, that's great. It's a nice idea to get takeout from your favorite restaurant. But bear in mind that it doesn't have to be just a, a Wednesday event. Event. Um, but that's kind of a little bit of a national thing going on that people are participating in. Um, and yeah, those are a few things from around town. So we had birthdays. Um, well, and then the teachers today, there was something else I saw that was really cool this week. Uh, I'll have to think about it because I don't remember. Now, I did want to ask you from your council side, you guys had a meeting this week. So yeah. it looks like the big news out of the meeting is that uh, we're getting a little bit of a break on our water bill. Yeah, so that's kind of one thing. So um, if you go back and remember when we were in budget, uh, that tier rate was supposed to change, right? So um, it was going to go up, uh, essentially, for the amount of water that you were using. We've decided to, to lower that back down because obviously we realize that so many families are at home. It's, it's going to be challenging and we, we want to do our best to save um, every community member um, some cash in their pocket. And the other thing that council is working on, and we don't necessarily have uh, any formed committees yet, but administration is working on it. There's gonna be some task forces that come out of, of how uh, we as council, as well as um, you know, numerous organizations coming together, what it looks like uh, for COVID-19, both economically and socially. Uh, and, and we do believe there's, there's definitely synergy between these two groups. Um, but obviously we got to start looking at, you know, the future I, as we all get back to work, as we all get back to regular life, um, we realize that there's going to be challenges. There's going to be challenges on the social level, as well as economically. Um, how do we support our businesses? How do we support each other? What does it look like? Um, and it's been interesting in conversation. I'm sure you've had these same conversations with your friends, but, you know, do people end up staying in kind of an introverted lifestyle, right? Uh, do they come back out? How many people are going to be comfortable in a large set gathering? Um, I think we've got a lot of things that we have to work through. And not only that, but the economic picture is going to be huge. Um, you know, we realize that this is, you know, the longer everybody stays in isolation, the more it hits our economy. So uh, I think that we definitely need to work together to make sure that we're doing our best. And so those are things that are upcoming. They're just working on parameters around what those task forces look like. 
Okay, so they'll be uh, composed of businesses and citizens or just citizens or? I think they're still trying to figure some of those things out. And so um, I don't want to speak too much as to exactly who will be involved. Uh, and besides that, it will have to be voted on in a future council meeting. So it's still upcoming, but those are things that council is working on. We realize the extreme importance of, of getting some help and getting it going as soon as we can. Perfect. Well, it sounds like someone's at my door. <laughs> I, I think they're getting in. Um, that's the only time my dog makes noise is when someone's at my door. Uh, all right. So um, in terms of weeks ahead, um, I guess what else is council? I guess that's really kind of what we're working towards is just what are things going to look like on the other side of this? Um, I know this morning I took I participated in um, a chamber um, session online and businesses are currently collaborating there on ways that they can work together and move forward into the future. Um, so that's really helpful for anybody uh, who is a small business owner. You do not need to be a member of the chamber to participate in those weekly Zoom calls. Um, I, I will make sure to go add a link for one of those uh, into the post afterwards so that you can all drop in on that on Thursday mornings. It is uh, fairly informative. We get a bit of an update from town, from economic development side, what they're talking about and what things are gonna look like in the future. And um, so those are those are open to anybody in town who, who would like to pop in. So I'll definitely make sure to let you all know about that. And uh, what, we, what do we normally have coming up in May? Is the trade show is kind of, I think that's been postponed. Yeah, I, I, all events as of right now have been, been postponed until June. And there is discussion as to what that looks like um, as we carry on. Um, it, it hasn't been, I don't think, 100% confirmed yet, but we are looking as to what events do we need to cancel, can, cancel. Um, because obviously we know in June there, there's lots of big events that are coming up. We're kind of following, we're looking at what other uh, municipalities or the City of Calgary is going to be doing. Uh, of course, there's talk about whether or not the Stampede will be cancelled. Uh, they have not made any firm decision yet, but it is, uh, it is still on the books, so it will be it'll be interesting times of head there is uh we do not have a date as to when things are going to open up and be back to regular business obviously we're hoping uh that if uh the next few weeks we can remain uh inside sorry as my child keeps pinging me um if we can remain inside and flattening the curve the best that we can we do realize that uh, it's going to be better for all of us so i encourage everyone i i know it's going to get nice so you're going to get uh, you're going to want to be outside, you're going to want to gather around friends and hang out and I, I get all that because it is, uh, it's tough, but they are encouraging everyone the next few weeks are extremely important. S stay isolated, remain on your own, and then hopefully we can get back to business as is uh, sooner than later. Well, I guess that sounds like uh, we should start brainstorming about um, how to celebrate some of those things that we would normally do, uh, maybe a little bit more virtually. So that could be a good challenge for people in Cochrane. If you've got an idea about, you know, something that we normally do every year in Cochrane, uh, I don't want to say candidate day specifically, but you know, uh, th there's the, the chamber events, that's something different, but anything that kind of we work towards, there's, I think, neighbor week. Um, so there's, there's a couple things that come up in June where uh, it's nice to get out in the community and participate a little bit more. So maybe that can be a bit of a, a challenge back to the people of Cochrane too. You know, if, if we don't have these events this year, how would you like to see them unfold? And how would you like to participate on them or in them, uh, I guess, online or some other way? But it's time to kind of pull our brains together and uh, come up with something different because um, it's going to be a, a few more weeks and the more we can do to stay connected. Uh, the better, but um, those EMS parades, they've been great. Uh, I, I would love to see more of those in the future, but I understand that, you know, they can only be uh, out visiting everybody so much, but now they're fitting in birthdays and everything too. So they're really, really doing a great job and uh, kudos to those guys. Um, now I'm just gonna look over at Facebook here. There is a little bit of a delay. Um, so I'll just let people know if they have any questions, um, just 
type them into the little box there. Uh, shoot us a heart if you're there watching and uh, we'll be able to see that you're there later. Um, yeah, it's a good, another good wrap up. I don't know what else there is to say. Do you have uh, any other events that you can think of or conversations to mention? No, I got a couple of things that I've, uh, I'm gonna be shooting some uh, more positivity videos on over the next, over tonight, as well as into tomorrow. So uh, keep an eye on it. And you know what, I, I do realize that people question, you know, I mean, we talk about flattening the curve and staying inside and there I am standing on the street, you know, with other people, but I do want to assure people I am a great distance away from other people. I shoot backwards. Um, I don't go up to people's doors. There's none of that, right? So um, I really respect the whole physical distancing, but I think it is really important. And as much as some people may not think it's important, I think it's important to stay positive, focus on the good, don't get wrangled into the negative, um, you know, because we're going to be seeing this for the next few weeks. So uh, really, really try to remain positive. Look for the good in our community because there's lots of great stuff happening. You just you just got to tune in. Yes. And yesterday we didn't have such a great day at home. Um, it's spring break. There's no school to work on right now. So in our household, we had a little bit of a struggle, but someone reminded me that um, every day is a new opportunity to start over. So uh, for moms dealing with kids at home and you're dealing with a job and, and schoolwork, you know, give yourself a break. It's okay to uh, not get it all done in the same day. Um, you know, everybody has to live together, work together, do their schoolwork together. So don't, don't get too stressed out about it. Wake up the next day and proceed like, you know, it's the first day that we're doing it all again. Um, I think uh, something I'm struggling right now with is dinner maybe other people can uh, chime in about that. But I think, I feel like I've made like 600 dinners since I've been locked inside. And uh, I did start a group for that. It's called What's for Dinner. So if people are like me and you're like, oh my goodness, I have no more ideas, definitely go join that group. It's not only yummy, um, but it's helpful for when you just, you're, you're, you have no more ideas. So and that's probably course. something I'm starting to struggle with the most is like the, the food stuff. Yeah, and I look forward to hearing some ideas. Maybe people have some cool games that they're playing in, indoors or some cool different ideas, kind of like, you know, the same thing with, uh, you know, with recreating a travel thing. I, I don't know, maybe there's some cool things that we haven't thought about out there that, you know what, um, like you said, we're all in it together. So let's figure it out together and maybe share those ideas or that creativity. And, you know, that's that's all great things. Perfect. Well, we're just coming around to our half hour here, so I will wrap things up. Um, I'd like to thank Marnie again for checking in with us for another Cochrane Coffee Chat. Um, if anybody in the audience has any ideas about the stuff we talked about or any ideas about the things that you'd like us to talk about in the future, um, feel free to reach out to us on Urban Casual and uh, you can let us know your thoughts. And if you hear about something really cool happening around Cochrane, uh, that's maybe a virtual event and, and most people don't know about, definitely let us know on Urban Casual and we can help you get the word out for that, okay? And if you have a story of positivity, reach out to Marnie. Um, if, you, if you can't get a hold of Marnie, reach out to me and I'll get a hold of Marnie, but we'll make it happen and uh, we'll get your story of positivity uh, documented so that when all of this is over, we can look back at all of those great things, footage, um, photos, porch photos, all that stuff, and we can um, bring it together as a community and kind of unfold its own story um, about what happened over this time. So thank you for all of the wonderful things that are going on in the community. Um, it's been another great week of the Cochrane Coffee Chat and it may take me a minute to shut off here because I don't know what I'm doing with this new Zoom thing, um, but uh, bear with us and uh, we'll be back again next week at 3 p.m. on Thursday. Bye Cochrane. <laughs>